will help inform the limits of flap control in order to collect data for future landing profiles. I mean, we're looking, we're looking good so far. We've just got about five kilometers in altitude to go. We'll, we'll ignite the engines when we're still just a couple hundred meters uh, over the ground, do that flip. Starting and is passing landing. through five kilometers altitude, remains on a good trajectory. I have a feeling this is going to look so cool as it passes through the clouds. Obligatory shout out to the entire avionics team on Starship. <laughs> And there's that nose down orientation. Now the uh, Raptor engines will relight and help flip the booster back up. This is a more severe flip given the orientation. Uh, the engines will shut down prior to the water making impact, prior to the vehicle making impact with the water. Our oh, ship is doing great so far. There's those engines relighting. What a great reorientation by Starship. Wow. All three down to two into the water. Starship is landed. Wow. And we have ship splashed down in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> Some awesome buoy cam. Action here. Daylight views. Incredible. We really pushed the limits on shipping and made it all the way back down to Earth. I am shocked, <laughs> to be honest. I think many folks are. Uh, the fact that it survived all the way through <laughs> while flying a lesser gen heat shield is just absolutely incredible. And uh, turns out the vehicle had more capability than our calculations predicted. And that is why we test like we fly. Exactly why we do that. And those views were absolutely incredible to watch. Because of Starlink, we were able to get the views all the way down, yeah. as well as the buoys, uh, seeing ship touch down in daylight. So cool, so cool. <laughs> now we want to, unfortunately, wrap up the show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll say congratulations to our teammates at SpaceX and to everyone who supported the Starship program. And thank you to all of our future customers for your support. We'd also like to thank the people of Cameron County, Texas, as well as the Coast Guard, the Federal Aviation Administration, the Government of Mexico, and the Australian Space Agency. Now, be sure to 